Hey, what's up, YouTube? Coming back with another video, man. It's Enoch 777. Hope all is well. Shouts out to everybody out there. Y'all stay out the way, stay focused and balanced. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. The title of the video is going to be about niggas. The spiritual meaning behind niggas. What is actually going on. What you probably didn't know. What you probably just found out. So, this is information that I knew for a little bit now. But I just sat back and I was thinking about it. And then I started to see people put out a video about this. So whenever I seen the people actually put out a video about this, this is what made me kind of back off and be like, oh, okay, now nah, I'm straight. But I might as well go ahead and make a video about this. So nigga is not what you actually know and think at this point it just has been turned into a negative word over a certain period of time so people can say the truth right in front of your face and put a spin on it and you get lost bent and confused when you should already know what this word actually means at this point so do you know that there was a serpent race a reptilian race that went by the name of Naga. This is where you get nigga from. No matter how you put it. Niggas, Nagas, all of the same thing. People like to argue. They like to fight. Come under my videos and say, Jesus wasn't a reptilian. That's not true. You lying. Where is the proof, the evidence at? Because you are lying. Nah. I can put the link within the video so you can actually see for yourself that Messiah actually means lizard king, serpent king. This is real information. So people like to talk about being a real nigga. What is a real nigga? A real nigga is a real king, a lizard king. We are lizard people. Your skin shed, your lips peel, your nose flake up, it peels. Every time you jump in the shower, you are shedding. We are reptilians. This is our DNA. The Anunnaki wasn't anything regular. This was super highly evolved spiritual beings that actually stood for genetic modification so with me saying this they was able to splice and create different lives this is how we have all these animals this is how you have all of these races of people it is all a slit and a splice right down the middle and once again this goes back to the eyes of a snake and a lizard who do you think that snake that tempted eve in the garden was it probably was a real nigga. <laughs> it probably was a real serpent king. We ruled throughout different areas around the world and locations in different lands, Ethiopia, Asia, and also India. These are the places which we ruled. They went to say that these beings, they had dreads, what is going on now with a lot of people people feel more connected once they actually get a set of dreads right they feel more in tune this is coming from the nagas so they were warrior like and what actually came to my mind whenever i got this download was dragon ball z i was like so you mean to tell me this whole entire time they was talking about dragon ball z why do i say this why is this important they was all warriors that's what they was, but not only that, at the end of Dragon Ball Z, what did they say? The next saga continues. Naga, nigga, you are a king, queen. It's time to wake up and take your power back. Don't get mad at people no more whenever they come up to you and they like to use this word in a negative term. Be happy, be proud, stand in your power. You shouldn't even let words affect you because it doesn't exist to a certain point, man. 
but you won't find this stuff out until you actually are seeing on the inside of your body and you can look down back in the matrix and be like man these words are man-made man this is not real i'm not gonna let nobody get to me man that title whatever they're trying to put on me bro like it doesn't even matter because my soul does not identify with anything in this physical third dimensional realm i am outside of this realm so it's time to stop playing with ourselves it's time to get back connected to ourselves and understand how powerful we are but i almost forgot so what is a real nigga on a spiritual level this is doing what i'm doing this is doing what the next man and woman doing dealing with spirituality so if you ain't out there trying to help souls to sin and find out the truth and help people get out of the situations that this matrix put them in then you're not a quote-unquote real nigga if you're not helping the earth if you're not down for the cause and spirituality if you're not out there man risking your own life in order to bring people back into a harmonious state within the earth then you not no real nigga so you going to jail that's not no real nigga i don't been in jail but that doesn't make me feel like i'm more powerful than the next man or woman you feel me if anything bro like i don't regret anything because it took me to go through that to get here but that's not something that I glorify. That's not something that I honor. What gets me honored and people saying you're a real nigga is when you're doing the right thing, bro. When you're teaching what's right. When you don't live that life, that street life, you don't came out of that. And you done became a changed man and a changed woman. And now you are becoming your ultimate self and doing what you came here to do. So just because you beat niggas up, just because you shot a couple people, just because you got street cred or whatever like that, bro. The mindset of that is out of whack. It is backwards, man. Stop trying to impress people that is not trying to see the world, that is not trying to find knowledge, that is not trying to pass down this knowledge to their kids and take our land back, get our power back. Because you impressing people that is not doing anything to do with history, man. These people are trapped within the circle. And we must begin to understand this. Don't you want to be that main one, that real nigga that step outside of that circle and say, bro, I don't need to steal no car. I don't need to rob nobody. I don't need to point a gun at somebody to be a real nigga, bro. I need to do what I came here to do. I need to start my business. I need to go ahead and try to do something that is going to make sure my family is straight for decades, for centuries. When I leave here, when I'm not even here no more, my name will still be ringing bells, bro. So this is the real definition of a real nigga, bro. It's teaching what's right, doing what I'm doing, doing what the rest of these spiritual YouTubers doing, bro. We got it completely backwards, bro. They put us in this trial and we have to be able to see through that, bro. See out of the hood, bro. See out of the street, like, bro. Like, get your vision back. Get that third eye open and activate it and actually start to do what you came here to do. Instead of playing with yourself, bro. Trying to impress these females, bro. And half of these women, like, they don't even know their true potential. They don't know how powerful they are. They don't know where they come from, bro. They don't know that they was the first beings that inhabit this earth and that they are a form of God. They don't even know that. They closed off from that information. But, yeah, we lizard kings. We reptilians. And I even had someone that made a video talking about, oh, he said that he was a reptilian. That must mean he's a bad reptilian. He's an Illuminati, bro. You are a freaking reptilian if you are inside of a human body at this point. I don't care if you're a regular human, if you're a god, if you're a goddess, whatever type of walk of life you come from, bro, whatever reincarnation you come from, bro, you are a reptilian, bro. Just because I came out and said that, that don't mean that I'm evil, bro, at all. But that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to make a video about. So don't get mad, bro, when people say nigga or whatever like that. Be like, oh, thank you. You said that I was a king. Thank you. Have a nice day. Go out your way, bro. Don't argue with people because they bring your energy down and you get to that little level, right? And you start wasting your energy. But anyways, man, it's Enoch777. Peace. I'm out. I wanted to give a quick shout out to No Choice on Instagram. Y'all make sure y'all go check him out. I will put the link within the video so y'all can go shop with him. I just wanted to say that I greatly appreciate the gift that you sent me in the mail. I just received it not too long ago and I wanted to do a quick review. 
So, I just want to say that I love the packaging. You know, uh, it looks like this is going to last for a very long time because just look. Look at the material, like how it's made. You can put other things in there as well if you have this over a certain period of time, like small belongings and stuff like that. And you just travel with a little travel pack. But, yo. So, as far as with the symbolism within the name brand, um, I can see it. I can tell you what it actually means. Um, You can get this confused as far as with, is this a six or a nine? But it's like really both because it's turned to the side, right? So, basically a six and a nine is as above, so below. But with the number nine, this is us at this point. Um, if you see this right here, my finger, you know, if it's clear enough, if it's close enough, you will actually start to see a spiral in the number nine. Um, if a person was to show you the middle of their head, like the center, like the crown part, if they had like a nice cut or some waves or something like that, you can say, oh, I like your cut, G. Other than that, man, you can, uh, actually start to see a number nine or whatever like that, so... You can also begin to think about this as far as with us coming into the world as a baby within a womb because you was curled up in a number nine. So this is us. We are spiritual beings, right? So overall, this is the logo right here. What I just explained to y'all. And this is the actual jacket. I'm going to look like I just stepped off a of Nibiru fresh off a of spaceship. And I'm going to look like a real deal alien, but I love tight stuff like this. You know, it looked futuristic. So, with this hoodie right here slash jacket, um, with the face part, you can actually cover your whole face. And I am that type of person, like I'm weird like that. So, I be listening to music, you know, in my own world, in my own zone. And I just zip up my whole face, you know, and tune the whole world lot, man. But, hey, man, y'all go shop with them. I appreciate you for sending me this, man. Peace. I'm out, y'all. All right, so I'm back here with the hoodie slash jacket, man. And um, I ain't want to leave this part out because I did see something else in the package. So, um, this is supposed to be silver. So, with this jacket, it does more than what it actually looks like, right? Um, This actually protects you from, like, 5G and things of that nature. It blocks that radiation out. EMF. EMR. So, what I actually have here is uh this jig of a thingy, this gadget that actually plugs into this jacket right there. It goes like this. Boom. So you see that, and then what you do is you want to pop it in the outlet and then put it in the wall. So once you put it in there. It is supposed to block out all of the wavelengths that is coming to you with all of the technology around us, with the stuff going on outside, with what I just named previously. And this is supposed to be like a grounded method. So I thought that's pretty cool. But anyways, man, this Enoch 777 piece, I'm out.